I'm Sophia from We Learn to Share. Today I'm going to talk about classifying languages from AP Human Geography Chapter 5. In Chapter 5, the language chapter, the first thing we learn is the classification of language. First of all, language means a system of communication through speech, a collection of sounds that a group of people understands to have the same meaning. Mainly in AP Human Geography, it classifies languages by purpose of using and how many people use it. First, first classify by the purpose of using. Institutional language is a language used in education, work, mass media, and government. It means that they aren't always the actual way people speak. They are the language for a specific institution, like professional language. For example, it could be some of the great uh, difficult terms from the AP Human Geography. Uh, institutional language has a literary tradition. Literary tradition means written as well as spoken. This means written and spoken language. For example, there are there is English using Roman alphabet. Next is classifying by how many people use it. Uh, I organized by the order of developing to extinct. Extinct. Developing language is spoken in daily use by people of all ages, from children to elderly elderly individuals, and has has literally tradition. Vigorous language is spoken in daily use by people of all ages, but lacks a literary tradition. Next is threatened language. Threatened language is used for face-to-face -face communication, but is losing users. Buying language is still used by older people, but is not being transmitted to children. It means language that are not being taught to children by their parents and are not being used actively in every matters. Uh, Extinct, uh, endangered language is a language a, at risk of extinction because it has few surviving speakers. Lastly, extinct language. The extinct language is a language that has once used by people in daily activities, but is no longer in use. So those are the uh, order of the languages that are organized by developing to extinct, which means uh, how many people use. And lastly, uh, we can also organize as collection through families, branches, and groups. Uh, language family is the biggest uh, form from the street collection uh, organized by uh, biggest to smallest. A language family is a collection of languages related to a common ancestral language that exist existed long before recorded history. Example, Turkic, uh, Indo-European, Sino-Tibetan, and Ur Uralic. Those are the family, which are extended long before recorded history, like oldest uh, languages. And those language families are divided into language branch. Language branch is a collection of languages within a daily related through a common ancestral language that existed several thousand years, years ago. A difference with a language family is that a language branch is not as extensive or as old as language families. Also, archaeological evidence can confirm that the branch is derived from the same family. So, for example, from Indo-European family, Indo-European family can be divided as Germanic, Roman, Slavic languages, kind of uh, languages. So those are the branch kind of like branch coming up from the tree's body. You can think like that to understand it easier. And lastly, there is language group. Language group is a collection of languages within a branch that shares a common origin in the relatively recent past and displays many similarities in grammar and vocabulary. So for example, from the Indo-European history, there was Germanic and Germanic can also divide it as English, Dutch, German, uh, such as. So, yeah, uh, those are the things. Uh, this is how we organize as collections. Though mainly their their difference is how much they are, uh, how much they are old, and uh, how can how much they are old, and 
uh, how it is related to each other. Lastly, uh, there is isolated language. Uh, isolated language is a language unrelated to any other and, th and therefore they're not attached to any language family. Those arises through a lack of interaction with speakers of other languages. For example, there are Korean, Hatsa and Sandawe in Africa, Burushaski and Poryuk. Poryuk. Uh, and those are the mainly, those are the every uh, type of languages and how from the chapter one classifying languages. And I hope this helped you guys out. Thank you for listening.